And in India, the race to firm up electoral alliances for the upcoming general elections is taking yet another dramatic turn. The 28-member INDIA alliance, or India alliance, formed to take on the ruling BJP, is facing a fresh jolt every day. The chief minister of the eastern state of Bihar, Nitish Kumar, who was instrumental in initiating unity talks among the opposition India constituents, is himself poised to make a stunning U-turn and join hands with Prime Minister Modi's party, the BJP. The state parties in Bihar are scrambling to get the numbers on their side amid reports that JDU Chief Nitish Kumar could join the BJP to form a new government by dumping his current allies, the RJD Congress and others. Reports also suggest that Nitish Kumar could share the stage with Prime Minister Narendra Modi at a function in East Champaran on February 4th. Senior RJD leaders, including Deputy Chief Minister of Bihar, skipped a Republic Day event yesterday at the state's governor office. Instead, they are holding a meeting with party constituents. Congress members also missed the event. Meanwhile, amidst all the political bars, the Nitish administration has reshuffled the bureaucracy. 29 senior IAS officers have been assigned new position, uh, positions. District Magistrate of Capital Partner has also been replaced. Matters came to a head between the coalition parties reportedly over the seat-sharing issue as well as the Prime Minister's face of the India Alliance, of which Nitish Kumar is a key architect. In 2013, Nitish Kumar ended JDU's 17-year political alliance with the NDA that was led by the BJP. This was because he disagreed with the choice of Narendra Modi as a prime ministerial candidate. Two years later, the run-up to the Bihar Assembly elections, Nitish joined hands with arch-rival Lalu Prasad, led RJD and the Congress, and subsequently became chief minister. However, this alliance ended in 2017 as corruption allegations against the RJD's deputy chief minister led him to break up with the RJD. Nitish again forged an alliance with the BJP and formed their government. However, ties between the two parties again frayed. And in 2022, Nitish Kumar again b dumped BJP and formed a government with the RJD and Congress. The next assembly polls in Bihar are due in October, November 2025. Reports suggest Kumar wants early assembly polls to go with the lock sub high elections. In the 243-member Bihar Legislative Assembly, the RJD, the single largest party with 79 MLAs, as against the BJP's 78, while Nitish Kumar's JDU has just 45 MLAs.